We're going to keep this train rolling and we're going to fix this Lolito Kai. Now what's wrong is when we plug it in, you see that? Uh, you get it in the right spot and it just loses connection. That's really bad because then it resets everything and it ruins, like I had to redo a bunch of cells. So let's pop this out and let's uh, re-solder that connection. Pretty simple little video. Right, and I'm using the slotted method. So I drilled holes and I drilled bigger holes. You can see my previous videos explaining this. This will be another uh, quick video and I'll mention quickly about the uh, YouTube strike that I'm going to be doing. And uh, So basically I'm okay with it. If it ends up just being me alone doing it, I'm okay with that. I thought about it long and hard and I, I do believe that it's the right thing to do, to do these YouTube strikes where uh, basically all of my videos, the intro is going to be fine and normal, but once you get past the intro explaining what we're going to be doing, then I'm going to be putting on the filter that makes it annoying to watch the video, and I'm going to put the text across the screen. And uh, basically, uh, the first link in the description will be to this video without that annoying filter and without that text on the screen. So you just click it and continue watching the video. Then you can close that window and come back to the YouTube one and you can hit like and comment. All right, so uh, that's, that's what I'm up to. And I'm going to keep doing that indefinitely until uh, the YouTube CEO... Uh, publicly apologizes. I want her to um, upload her own video, you know, take her own time uploading a video to YouTube where she apologizes. I want her to admit that she has no clue what she's doing and she's not qualified to run a company. Well, that's all I want. I don't, I don't want anything else from her. Just, you know, just admit that you're in over your head and you don't know how to properly run a company. I don't think that's too much to ask of someone. Alright, so why is this guy... Let's uh, look at this carefully. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's a cold drink. Jeez, can't even see it. It moves, like I'm, I'm getting a bunch of uh, wiggle, but it doesn't look like a cold joint. I was expecting a more obvious culprit to this problem. Jeez, I gotta take these springs off first. That's the nice thing about the Lolito Kai is it's so cheaply built that uh, it's mostly easy to disassemble for repair. So you gotta take these stupid springs off their clips. Um, when you put it back together you probably have to use some silicone or something because they pop off their clips these uh, slide rail, the little clips, yeah, wrong way. That little clip right where I'm touching, it uh, easily pops off there. So. No big deal though. Alright, now that we got the board apart. Alright. So our problem is this connector here. And it uh, doesn't look like there's a cold joint. I don't see anything that's a problem. The big thing is temperature. You gotta watch your temperature. Like, realistically, on a circuit board, it's like, you set it to 260, between 260 and 300, don't go any higher. The PCB will start to uh, separate from itself. Right? And then you got some serious problems. I'm not, like, super good with PCBs and proper soldering etiquette. My soldering iron tells a pretty good story. I've tried my best to, uh, you know, take care of this soldering iron and try to do it properly, but uh, it just it falls apart anyways. It's just too low of quality, so I'll eventually have to invest in better soldering iron and equipment. Like I have a sponge and all that, and I've I've honestly tried to do my best to do proper soldering etiquette, but it just isn't, it's not happening, guys. But whatever, you know, I used to be a weapons engineer, 
to have to do this stuff once in a while. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this YouTube strike, but I'm going to do it. Like, I, it feels like the right thing to do, but who knows, right? You're always, in life, you're always trying to do the right thing. Everyone's always trying to do the right thing. Even a bad person is trying to do the right thing. But, uh, how are you supposed to know it's the right thing to do? You know, you might be wrong. But, uh, this one, it's... I'm confident that this is the right course to take. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep with it. And I know I'm not a big YouTuber. I know I don't have a lot of content. I don't have a lot on my channel. I'm not like a valuable YouTube YouTuber. But I'm trying to get this off. It's just not coming. I'm gonna have to use the wick. It's the only way. I'm gonna call in the wick. Here's my sponge that I use. It's not perfect, but what can you do, right? Play well, yeah, a soldering wick is almost mandatory when you're doing stuff like this. It's not that expensive, but then again, it all adds up. You know, all these different parts. It's right away, it sucks it all up. It's pretty cool. I should have used it from the start, but I don't like you wasting my uh, soldering wick on, on things. Actually, to be honest, I shouldn't have viewed it as a waste because my Lolito Kai chargers are arguably one of the more valuable assets to the operation. Even though they're cheap, like this board is only $25, right? I only paid 25 bucks for this unit, but uh, it's brand new and, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to throw it away just because the stupid connector is giving me trouble. I could also just direct wire it in, but I do prefer to have the ability to just unplug it whenever. Alright, we're going to switch tactics. Uh, there's obviously something going on that I'm not aware of yet. So let's uh, let's switch gears and try a different tactic. Small flat headed screwdriver. Very small flat headed screwdriver. Pressure contact point up in there. The negative side pressure contact point. Pry it up, make it much bigger. Okay. Okay, it's pushed up. It's much higher now. You can't really see it, but the the negative side pressure plate has been raised. Pry it up. We'll put on some new solder. Okay, we gotta solder. some flux on that. I've gotta buy more flux. This stuff is garbage. It's like meant for plumbing. It's like really dirty. I have, I have other stuff, like professional stuff, uh, I should have been using it, but I'm almost out. But, um, yeah. This one's giving me trouble. There we go. Try and get rid of all those impurities, all that carbon. There we go. And usually I like to take a toothbrush to it, just to gently, uh, you know, deal with it. Alright, so that's that's how we did it. Um, for some reason this unit would not come off, so we just re-solder the joints. They look nice and shiny now, they're not dull and gray. And pried up the negative pressure point so that it's just barely, uh, it's barely not touching the positive. Not that that's a big deal, but anyways, we'll put it back together. We've got these buttons here. This has to go in there. Luckily, it's very self-explanatory. I almost burned myself. 400 degrees, baby. Those burns do not go away quickly. Be very careful. Uh, one modification that I would really like to do one day is these um, yeah, these JFETs or whatever MOSFETs whatever 
those things there I'd love to throw, plus these two over here. I'd like to put heat sinks on them one day, but uh, not today. We'll see. I'll um, I'll think about it. You know, it's it's not a rush. It's not an issue. Having that fan. Where is it? Up there, you see that fan center screen that I have mounted. That solved like 90, 99 percent of the issues. So, uh, you know, cutting this thing up and putting putting a uh, you know, heat sinks on it, or a fan is, is just not worth it when I've already solved the problem. Just, you know, go over it quickly. You gotta make sure if, you, if you're too hard on it, there's a tiny little either diode or resistor, super tiny. You gotta make sure you don't, by accident, peel that off, pop it off, because they can come off quite easily. All right, so, there you go. Yeah, right there, that's what we are working on. So, we'll put it back together and we'll see if the uh, problem is still there. I don't normally do things like this on camera, but um, I'm all about, you know, getting out of my comfort zone. You know, trying new things. I obviously, if you watch my channel enough, you'll notice I like trying new things. I'm all about, geez, this thing is completely bent out of shape. There we go. Hopefully it's not too heavily damaged. There we go. So yeah, this was one of my first prototypes um, for modifying, and uh, obviously mistakes were made. But uh, hopefully it still works because uh, I use these things quite heavily. I really need those TP forty fifty sixes to show up. Uh, I cheaped out and I didn't pay for the. Uh, expedited shipping. I wanted them as cheap as possible. I got the TP4056s for like 36 cents each flat. Like this, They're about the size of this TP4056s and uh, I got them for like yeah 36 cents each. So I wanted to stick with that goal but I'm kind of regretting it because waiting two months for a part to come in. Well I ordered like 15 or 20 of them or something. I should have ordered way more. I should have ordered like 50 of them or something stupid because they're so easy to by accident break, you know, reverse polarity, burn them out, overheat them, all that stuff, you know. So, and I'm going to be doing a bunch of weird testing. I'm going to be testing a new design that I thought up for BMSs, stuff like that. So we'll see, right? Um, I don't know what the future will hold, but you know, hopefully it all works good and I don't explode too many TP4056s. I already blew up 10. Yeah, I've destroyed 10 by now. So you know, it's, you just gotta accept it sometimes. Luckily they're not that expensive. My first batch I paid like $1.20, $1.15 each. For each TP4056, and this time I found a better supplier linked in the description. All those links, whenever you buy parts, uh, any of the parts linked in the description, if you click on it and buy it, I get a tiny, tiny kickback for every purchase you uh, you have, and that's more than enough for me. I'm I'm very happy for that. It helps pay for some of the equipment that I buy and test out. So I, I really appreciate it when you click those links and buy those items I've linked. The AliExpress ones I don't make any money off, but AliExpress has much better price margins. So I, I link those not only for you, but for me, for my benefit. Uh, just because sometimes I lose my links or forget what I was doing. If any of the links end up dead or they're not working, please let me know so I can update them for everyone. And then I try to update all of my videos to have an updated list of parts. I don't list parts that I believe are garbage. Uh, I don't link them. I lost one of the screws. That's not good. One eternity later. Holy shit. I found it. <laughs> my carpet is black. And uh, the screw is black. And I actually found it. I, I really didn't think I'd find it. Especially that quick. Uh, 
I think it's fixed now. So this is the beauty of this design. Just kind of lines up, shove it in, boom, done. It's mounted. Now to make it a little bit better, a little bit more robust, it works. Right, we'll test out some batteries now. Uh, to make it more robust, you can put screw like one screw right there, one there, like just to hold it. Because I'll show you when you take your battery. And hopefully you can see this properly. When you take your battery and you slide it in, it, if it's too loose, it'll drop the whole unit down. All right. Oh, it's still doing it. Maybe it's this that's the problem. That'd be funny if it turned out that it was just this wire the entire time. I bet I can prove it. Alright, we we'll just switch. Yeah, it's the wire. I should, have, I should have done that first, just swap, hot swap the two wires. That was stupid. Oh well. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, that, was a, that was a waste of a video. I'm sorry guys. Uh, wow. This is brand new too. This wire here has never been used for anything else. It is literally like right from the factory, uh, not even a month ago, or something. Like, uh, okay. No big deal, right guys? Ooh, saw. Alright, I hope you liked the video, even though it turned out to be completely pointless, um, but whatever. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.